Yo, what's going on guys? It is Insanity here and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can beat the Keeper of Sands raid boss in Tiny Tina Wonderlands. So before you can fight it, you must first summon it. And in order to do this, you have to go find a yellow symbol somewhere hidden on your chaos floors. The symbol can only be found once you have completed the encounter. And if you didn't find the symbol on your current floor, just keep traveling until the next floor until you find one. There is a chance that it won't spawn on the chaos run. There is just, it's an RNG based kind of thing. Once you found the symbol, just simply interact with it and once you've done that it will spawn a glowing yellow rock somewhere on your map go and find that glowing yellow rock and just keep shooting it until it breaks and then you will see a yellow symbol and then if you keep shooting that symbol it will break and then it will summon the boss and keep in mind if you mess this step up you will have to start a new chaos run in order to fight this boss now moving on to the boss fight itself, in order to start it, you must first beat the current Chaos Run. Go until you get to the boss of the Chaos Run, and you will see two portals that spawn. A yellow one and a red one, and we want to go into the red one in order to fight the raid boss. You watch a short cutscene of the Maker, and in order to cut it short, just shoot her. Now some attacks to look out for. First one I would highly recommend you look out for is this Lava Pool attack. This boss will spawn a pool of lava at your feet, and it is very easy to avoid if you just keep moving. You can see it on screen right now, it kind of shoots a projectile down, and it makes the area like all lava on the floor and it will deal damage over time and i, I just wouldn't step in that and if you're a player that likes to stand still just make sure you pay attention to the ground and look for visual cues moving on to the second attack that i would highly recommend you watch out for and this is probably the most important one this attack is a spotlight attack in this attack the boss will go underground and put a yellow symbol on its head it will also summon a sandstorm which will make it hard to see this yellow symbol on its head acts like a spotlight and if you're caught with it it will basically blind you and you will go down to avoid this all you have to do is shoot the yellow symbol until it breaks this thing could be pretty tanky at times so just make sure you have a powerful weapon once it's destroyed the boss will come out of the ground and begin attacking again and the third attack i would watch out for is a charge attack in this attack you'll see the boss curl up and the yellow symbol will once again be above the boss again just like the last one just simply shoot the yellow symbol these symbols are the weak point of the boss as well so that's worth noting this is where you can get a lot of damage done again the symbol is pretty tanky so just make sure you have a powerful weapon on hand and then one final attack I would highly recommend you look out for is when the boss slams on the ground. This will create a little like sand wave coming towards you and will knock you up into the air doing a lot of damage. All you have to do to avoid it is just jump right over it. And moving on to some weapons and gear I would recommend. Any high DPS weapons, whatever gun is relevant during the time of you watching this video. The meta weapon right now as I'm making this video is the liquid cooling and I would, I would highly encourage you to have one of these on your side. But if you're watching this sometime down the line, I would just look, do some research see what the meta guns are and just use those now moving on to some elements this boss is weak to poison so something that does constant tick damage like the white rider some spells uh if you're playing with friends i would recommend having reviver spells across the line if you're playing solo i'd recommend the buff meister considering it gives a good damage and stat buff depending on what one you have high damaging spells are also recommended now moving on to some enchantments anything that boosts your gun and poison damage would be great in this boss fight then one last tip is patience is key during this fight honestly just just like the last one don't stop shooting don't let your finger off that trigger button and it will eventually die but anyways this could be it for today's video if you guys did enjoy please leave a like as it also does help this channel grow and subscribe if you are new for more wonderlands content like this and yeah it's been insanity and i'll see you guys later